Please. Do not ever translate sabr as patient. Please. Because if you read Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order us to practice sabr more than 95 times in the Quran. And nowhere really you could drive the meaning patience of sabr except one part of sabr. But if you unconsciously think or translate sabr into patience, you will totally miss the meaning of sabr. So the only meaning really of sabr, as, as close as it could be, is to be consistent and continuous on the obedience of Allah Azza wa Jal. So sabr is to be consistent and continuous on the obedience of Allah Azza wa Jal. Why? Because if you read Quran and you read Hadith, you will find out that you need sabr mainly in four different scenarios, in four different times. You need sabr, as-sabru ala ta'a, wa sabru an al ma'asiyah, wa sabru inda al-rakha, wa sabru inda shidda. So when a sabr is needed, and it's talked about in the Quran and Hadith in four times. You need sabr when calamity hits. This you could translate as patient. Fine. And you need sabr when ease time, at ease time. So how could you need patient at ease time? And you need sabr on the obedience of Allah. And you need sabr away from disobeying Allah. This is where sabr is mentioned in Quran and Hadith. So if you want to translate sabr with patience, you're never going to get it right. So please, do not think sabr means patience, because sabr is much greater concept than patience. Sabr is to be consistent and continuous on the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all time. Ease and hardship when you're obeying and when you're trying to stay away from disobedience اقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه يغفر لكم